Hi everyone, I'm Melanie and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. Today on my channel, I will be decorating this basket with a beautiful spring floral arrangement. If you don't have a basket, you could also use a bread bowl or a tray. First, I'm going to lay down this fern garland. And this garland I purchased at Michael's. And this garland is a little bit stiffer in texture than the ones that I usually use, but this will be a really nice base for all of the florals that I'm going to be adding. And this is really pretty. It also has these little, I don't know if these are like a boxwood or if those are a eucalyptus. I'm not sure exactly what those are supposed to be that are added in with the ferns. And it looks like one of my little ferns popped off, so I just wanna pop that back on. And sometimes it's hard to see where these fall off of, but I think that's it. I think that might be where it came from and hopefully it'll stay on there now. I wanna make sure that I have my greenery as evenly as I can on the sides. And I wanna make sure that I don't kinda of smush this down. I want it to be nice and fluffy and oops, that fell off again. So I'm gonna to have to see, there we go. I think I can get that on there. I don't know why that doesn't want to stay on there, but hopefully now it will. But you'll see me as I go along kind of fluffing this greenery up in amongst the rest of my florals. I'll be using these lavender stems and I believe I purchased these at Walmart. And whenever I lay these in my basket, I want to kind of make them hang over the sides of my basket just a little bit. And I did bend my stem on this just so it would be able to fit in my basket better. Now I'll do the same on this side. And if you'd like to recreate this look, you don't have to use the same florals that I'm using. This is just basically to give you an idea of how you can recreate this look if you like it. Now I'm going to add two dogwood branch to each side of this basket and I just purchased these at Walmart and I'm sorry I can't remember the exact price. I believe they were around three or four dollars each and these are so pretty. They even have the stains on the petals and I think these are going to look really pretty in my basket. What I'm doing now is just weaving my floral. And what that means is I'm basically just bringing pieces of the greenery and the lavender up in between the dogwood. By doing this, it just gives it a more natural look. I'll continue to weave my floral as I go with all of the different flowers that I'll be incorporating. And I'll also add two dogwood branch to this side. And as you will be able to see, after I have both of these dogwood branches added, before I get the weaving done, you'll be able to see kind of the difference um, of just how it looks if I were to just lay these branches in without weaving them. The right side, I think, just looks so much more natural you don't have to weave your floral. It's just my personal preference and it only takes a few extra minutes. If 
If you like this kind of content, I would love to have you as a member of my YouTube family and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And if you do like this video, I would appreciate it if you would leave me a thumbs up. And I really enjoy reading your comments, so please feel free to leave your comment below in my comment box. I'll start with these beautiful red flowers, and I do apologize, I don't remember the correct name for these. Maybe you might know what they're called. Tiger tail is coming to mind, but I don't think that that's actually what these are. And for right now, I'm just going to be adding these in the front of my basket and at the back. But later on, as I go with my video, you will see me adding a few more of these. I want these to hang over the edge, so I might have to bend these just a little bit, but I love the appearance of flowers that are hanging over the edges of baskets and pots. And I'll do the same over on this side. And the one stem I added on the right side was a little bit fuller, so I'm going to add one more flower to the left side. And now I'm going to add these beautiful pansies. And I had used these pansies before in a floral arrangement, so I had separated them. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of grab a couple and group them together. I think I'm gonna use about two or three and then I'm just going to place them where I want them just to give them a more fuller look. And now I'll do the same on the right side of my basket. I think these orange ranunculus are a beautiful flower. And whenever I make floral arrangements, I love them to be full of color. So these ranunculus are really going to add a lot of color to this arrangement. I'm just going to weave these in at different places throughout my arrangement and I definitely want to put a little bit of color in with my dogwood just to help brighten up the white just a little bit. And I'll do the same on the right side of my basket. And I love how these ranunculus look against the white dogwood branches. They really stand out. And now for even more color, I love daisies. So I'm going to go in and add these daisies throughout my basket. 
When I'm adding my stems, especially to a full arrangement, it does sometimes get a little bit tricky because the more stems you have, you start to hit into some of those stems whenever you're trying to place pieces of flowers. And that's the problem that I'm having right now. I'm trying to get this first daisy added and I just keep hitting the other stems. And I'm also at times hitting in to the basket. But what I'm doing right now is just weaving these daisies. I just want it to look so natural, just like these would be growing in a meadow or in a garden. I'm looking so forward to being outside playing in my gardens. We still have really cold weather and we're even still getting snow where I live in upstate New York. And I'll do the same on the right side of my basket. This is a really good view of me weaving my florals. So right now you'll see as I pull the dogwood up between the yellow daisy. And by doing this, it just looks so much more natural. And this is how I've been weaving throughout my floral arrangement. Next, I'll be adding these iris, and I think iris are such a beautiful flower. And last year, I transplanted all of mine, and it was a lot of work because I have a lot of iris. So I separated them and replanted them in a different area of my garden because the area that they had currently been in was not working well for them anymore. They outgrew that area, so they found a new home in my garden. So I'm really hoping that this year they thrive and are beautiful. I just want to point out that I am adding a lot of flowers to this arrangement, but you're still able to see everything that I've added. You can see the lavender, you can see the dogwood, the daisies. You're still able to see all of the florals and greenery that I've added because I'm doing the weaving. And I'll do the same on the right side again. And now I'm gonna go in and add a few more of these red flowers.
And when I added these to the front of my basket, I forgot to add them to the back. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I feel like this arrangement needs some more lavender. So I'm going to add some more lavender to both sides. And I want some more yellow. So these little yellow picks will work perfectly. And I'm just going to add these at different places throughout my basket. And I'm really liking the look of this basket. It is so full and beautiful. It has so much color. I can't wait to see how this looks when I'm all finished. And I'll do the same on the right side of my basket. 
And after I'm all finished, I may have to go back and readjust a few pieces because it's kind of difficult for me to see exactly where I'm placing these pieces because I'm kind of doing this decorating at the sides. So I'm trying to do the best I can, but it is a little bit tricky. And when I'm making floral arrangements, or even if I'm making a wreath, I always sit on my living room floor to create these. I don't know why, um, it's just easier for me. And I'll even do that with wrapping gifts. Um, I'll just take all of my stuff I'll into the living room and I'll wrap gifts or I'll play around with my floral arrangements. And I even have a craft room, but this is what I always do. And by doing this, it allows me to be with my family. Um, a lot of times I'll do this in the evenings while we're watching TV. And next I'm going to add these beautiful pansies. I'm going to add in lots more pansies. These pansies are different in color than the ones I used earlier. And another option I could have done was instead of filling up the center of this basket, I could have added a rooster or maybe a bird or pretty much anything that I would like to use as a centerpiece or focal point to this basket. But for this arrangement, I just wanted it to be as full of beautiful flowers as I could get it. A few days ago, I posted a video on how I decorated my fireplace, mantle, and hearth for spring. And in that video, I made a basket floral arrangement and I added a bunny to the center of the basket. And then I decorated around the bunny with flowers and greenery. And if you didn't have a chance to watch that video, I'll be sure to link it below in my description box, just in case you might be looking for some more floral decorating inspiration. And I'll do the same on the right side. And a few times when I planted pansies, I did have them hold over through the winter and they came back in the spring. But usually if I plant pansies, they only last for the one season and then I'll have to replant them again in the spring. And how about you? Do you ever plant pansies? And if you do, do yours come back after a hard winter? I think my floral arrangement is just about finished and now I'll give you some close-up shots. In a future video I'll share how I decorated my home with this beautiful floral arrangement. I hope I was able to give you some good instructions for making your own floral arrangement and I really hope you enjoyed this video. One of the great things about working with artificial flowers is that if it doesn't look right the first time, you can always take the arrangement apart and remake it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.